Thank you Storm650 for these comments. He tells us that we can wait 15 minutes before starting the 20 minute timer and get 0.32 gold bars and $28.620 XP every time. He kills seven cougars in this period. And furthermore, switch your ability cards at the end of the mission while you're waiting in the safe area. And you can fill up XP on cards that you're leveling up still. What a brilliant idea. This guy, what an awesome dude to come at me and tell me this so I can share it with you. And people like that really make the world great, don't they? Thank you so much, Storm650. I'm going to get on that. We're going to do that right now. So, hello and welcome to the show. Thank you for the view. I appreciate you. We are going to be doing a Hector hunt out of Benedict Point over in New Austin, southeast of Tumbleweed. He gives us an on-the-hunt mission to go kill a wolf. Normally what we would do is run over and start this 20-minute timer, but instead we're going to give it 15 minutes. I set a timer on my phone. Look on the map here. I'm marking a spot where a cougar spawns. We're going to go farm this cougar while we're waiting for that 15 minutes to pass. So you head up this trail. You want to go north down through this valley. Once we get up to this cougar, I like to use my bolt action with some split point. You take and I hear you can whistle at them, but I've been putting a shot over their head and it makes me it makes it charge me. And when it charges me, it comes head on, and then it makes just an easy headshot. You get it out in that open area where it's not behind the shrubs and whatnot, and then you get the auto aim lock on it. It's it's real simple that way. I mess it up every once in a while, but usually it works well. And then, after skinning this, we are going to be running it right to the butcher. If it was daylight, which you're going to see in a little bit, because we're here at early morning, it's going to turn daylight. If it was daylight, then we'd be running up to Wrath's Keller Fork. And there is a bird spawn up there. So I'm going to sell this to the butcher. I'm going to keep the meat and the fangs, because until I have nine, I'm not going to bother holding down Y and wasting the precious seconds. You know, those seconds add up. It might make the difference between getting another carcass to the butcher or not during this time period. So I'll wait, and when I start stacking those up and I'm in threat of being over full or filling up so I can't pick up more, then I'll definitely sell them off. Now, I go back to the cougar spot, and there's no cougar there. So I'm going to run around. I'm, I'm looking for another cougar, but... I come across some turkeys, and I'm like, well, you know, I'll, I'll gladly take them, because it's XP, it's money, it's going to pass a little bit of time to increase the likelihood of me being able to find another cougar again. I don't want to, if I can get that cougar at that close spot by tumbleweed, that's where I want to do it. The further you go out to get the cougar, the longer it's taken. You can see where I'm at is over by the O in Cholo Springs. You know, there's actually three different spots a cougar can spawn over in that area. I don't have the third spot on video to show you. I've only actually got it to spawn twice in the third spot. But I'm really close to one of the... Well, I'm, I'm really close to two of the spots there. So, I mean, just like run around there and chances are if there's a cougar, it's going to attack you. And then if you don't see one, run back to the original spot, which I marked on the map, and there'll probably be one spawned there. So... That's what I'm doing, is I'm heading back over to check the original spot, and on the way, I came across this condor. You can see it's getting daylight now, so the birds are out. I'm going to skin this bird up, then I'm going to go check and see if that cougar is up on that ridge area. So I'm going to get the bolt action out. Take a gander over there. I got a couple turkeys, and there's no cougar. So, since it is morning, I'm going to head straight north up out of here to Rathskeller Fork. And you can see here that there's a hawk on this cactus. Now there are like eight different spots that these large birds, hawk, condor, vulture, could spawn in this area. And you're going to see later in this episode that I can actually get them to respawn too. In a previous episode that I featured this area. I wasn't doing a Hector hunt. It was just a cougar hunt. I did four cougar hunts back to back. I actually found five large birds up here. 
three vultures and a hawk and a condor, I think it was. I'm not even sure what they all were. And then this hawk right here, it's it's off the map. I'm not even going to spend too much time trying to get it. I go like up twice and I'm like, you know what, forget this. Oh, by the way, with the time lapse, I have a link down in the description with a full-length video, uncut, no time lapse, no voiceover. If there's anything here that I'm time lapsing and you'd rather watch it without the time lapse, you can go check the link into the description and you can find the uncut raw footage for this hunt. Okay, so I'm going to get this cat. And, you know, I'm just, I have the timer going on my phone. So I'm watching it. I want more than 15 minutes to pass. And I'm very curious how long I can wait until the mission fails. So the next time I get this mission, I'm going to let it fail. I'm going to set a timer, a stopwatch, and I'm going to see how long until it fails. So if it takes like 30 minutes, say it fails, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, then the next mission, I'm going to start the 20 minute timer at 10 minutes, or I'm sorry, at 29 minutes, or like 29 and a half minutes, something like that. I'm going to just push it as far as I can. And then before I pick up the alpha wolf, I'm going to wait until like the last 10 seconds and pick it up because that's going to add another four minutes to the clock. So then it'll be like 29 and three quarters of a minute plus 20 minutes. So I'll be at 49 and three quarters and then another like three minutes and 50 seconds. I, you know, I, I'll be able to just, I, I'm going to see if it makes any difference. If 0 0.32 is the cap or not, I'm going to just push it to the absolute limit that I can and see if we can get more than 0 0.32 out of a single mission. As you can see at the top, we get 0 0.32, we earn 0 0.32 gold bar, we earn $149.80, we earn 1,005 XP in 37 minutes and 20 seconds, which translates to 0.51 gold bar. $240.75 and 1615 XP per hour. Those are pretty good numbers. Those are pretty good numbers. Storm 650 has helped us out tremendously. Being able to add these cougar hunts in and get this extra gold during this period of time is really making this hunt much more profitable in my opinion. See, now, you might not be earning, like, the 0.58, okay? If you if you rush through this real quick, if you get this done in, like, 20 minutes and 30 seconds, 21 minutes, something like that, during that 21 minutes, 22 minutes, you're going to be earning... Okay, now, see, I just kind of forced those birds to spawn by running up on this point. I looked earlier, and there were no birds here. Just a couple seconds ago, I looked. And then I ran up with my head down where I wasn't looking, and then when I looked up again, there were a whole bunch of birds that spawned. So that's kind of like force spawning these birds in here. It's something I do over in San Denis on the spoonbill by the alligators as well. But back to earning the gold. If you're earning 21, or earning 0.24 gold in 21 minutes, then you're earning more gold per minute. But if you're earning 0.32 gold in 37 minutes, you're earning more, more gold. Kind of Okay, because you have to go and wait for Hector to respawn. Okay, if we factor that time in, and I don't know how long it is, so let's just say it's 15 minutes. If you earn point. 2-4 gold for 21 minutes doing the mission and then you have to wait 15 minutes then you're earning 0.24 gold every 36 minutes which comes out to 0.4 gold per hour now if you do it this way and you have to wait 15 minutes in between missions that would be taking it to 52 minutes and you'd be earning 0.32 gold every 52 minutes, which comes out to just under 0.37 gold per hour. But honestly, I don't know how long you have to wait in between missions. And I don't know, maybe even by waiting 15 minutes before starting the mission, you have to wait less time after the mission to get another mission. So some more testing needs to be done 
before those numbers can be set in stone. I'm not really sure which method's going to be better for the overall earnings per hour, but I do know that this method will result in you getting more gold per mission. So if you find yourself annoyed with the method of free roaming in order to get an on the hunt mission, then this is going to give you more gold when you finally do score that mission, which might be something that motivates you into waiting that 15 minutes and doing the cougar hunt. Me personally, I'm going to be doing it this way from now on, I think. I really like the idea of getting more gold per mission. That means that I'm getting more value out of those free roams I have to do in order to get Hector to give me the mission. Now, you might notice I stole the horse, which is something I don't usually do. I thought, well, there's two wolves that I kill that I don't have to take back to end the mission with. And usually they just sit there and run. If I take them back to the butcher, how much am I going to make off of them? If you do perfect kills on these wolves, then they're going to be a three star every time. So, I decided to grab a horse at Tumbleweed and run these wolves up to the butcher real quick. Ends up, you make like $5.25, I think, or $5.75, I don't know, we'll see in a second. Make something like close to 11 bucks for selling these two wolves. Which isn't really all that bad, considering the butcher is like right up that hill. You gotta kill the wolves anyways. I think I'll be doing this from now on as well. And then switching the ability cards towards the end, that's also another huge tip. I mean, we're learning so much this episode. This hunt was just... is is like a whole other fresh thing to do now. Like, I got so many more mechanics to kind of play with and test. The whole time issue. Like, trying to push it to the limit and see if we can get even more than .32 gold out of it. Which, I don't know, maybe somebody's already tested that and they already know. And the answer's already out there somewhere. But I personally don't know the answer. If somebody does know the answer, then leave a comment down below and let me know. Let us all know. I'd love to hear that you've tested it yourself or seen video of it tested and people pushing it to the absolute like last minute, last second, last possible length it could take. And that, you know, 0.32 is the absolute most you can get. Because I really think I got 0.36 one time. And I it was before I was making videos for YouTube and I sent the clip of it to some of my friends and showed them just on the Xbox and then I ended up deleting all my clips at some point so it's gone now but you see here I'm gonna switch my ability cards to cards that I don't use that can still gain XP because I have bought all my cards I've upgraded most of them but some of them can still take some XP so if I'm gonna earn some XP here I might as well get that XP added to these cards, right? That's just a brilliant idea. Storm650, thank you for these tips. You really helped me out a lot, and I really appreciate it. I think you helped a lot of people out a lot today. And, you know, kudos to you. Thank you so much. Everyone, you know, drop a comment down below and say, thank you, Storm50, you rock, man. So I'm going to get these cards switched up. And... I'll be spending some money probably at some point now that I know this method to further upgrade these cards. Which is great because I own all the weapons in the game. They're all upgraded weapons, you know. I need, I've need. i been waiting to kind of spend money on cards till I have everything I wanted. And I think that time's kind of come. So it's just like perfect timing for me to upgrade these cards with this method. And as you can see here, I'm going to get paid. I'm going to hit level 151. I'm going to get 0 .32 gold. $28 for the mission and 620 XP. Isn't that great? Thanks for coming in. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. I'll catch you next time. And until then, happy hunting, my friend.